Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. We're going to wrap up this problem type with using the normal distribution the table, putting all, all of it together uh, to solve these problems, and then we'll move on into the subsequent sections where we'll work on different, some different concepts. So the problem here is, in a city, the wages are normally distributed with a mean of $700 and a standard deviation of $50. Uh, these problems are all made up, so when we say this, it's probably like a weekly salary of $700, standard deviation of $50. So that means most of the people in the city are going to have an average value of $700 a week, but of course some may earn less than that per week and some may earn greater than that, but most of the data will be within plus or minus $50 from that mean. Uh, in fact, it's about 68%. That's what a standard deviation is, about 68% will be about 50 bucks plus or minus the mean. That's what, how you read that and interpret it. Then we want to know what is the probability that a worker makes between $620 and $770. So we know we're going to have to write down what we know. So the mean is 700. The standard deviation is 50. Alrighty. Then we want to go ahead and draw a picture. I'm always a, a very big advocate of that. So let's draw a picture when we can. And so what we will have is, this is our normal distribution here, like this. The average value is 700, right? And we're trying to find out what is the probability that a worker makes between 620 and 770. So 620 right here is going to be 80 away. So it'll be, let's just call it right there, um, 620. And 770 is a little bit closer. It's about 70 the other direction. So we'll call that 770. And basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to find, because we're trying to find what is the probability of having a wage between those values, we want to find that shaded area. So we know we're going to need to convert this value to a z-score and this value to a z-score. So z is equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So 770 minus 700 over the standard deviation, which was 50 for this particular normal distribution. And when you get that, you get 1.40 for that z-score. Now for the other z-score, again, it's x minus mu over sigma, 620 minus 700, that's the mean value, over the standard deviation of 50. And when you do that subtraction and do that division, you get negative 1.60, negative 1.60. So ultimately, you can redraw this if you want, but ultimately just know that this one corresponds to a z value of 1.40, and this one corresponds to a z value of negative 1.60. That helps you visualize what you're going to end up doing. So when you're